Hi guys, welcome back to Get Gorgeous. This video is going to be so special for me. It's in collaboration with Professional Beauty India, one of India's biggest uh, beauty expo. And we have created this purple pink halo Diwali party makeup look for you guys. This is so trending these days and uh, this is so apt for Diwali. Oh, and I would leave a link to Professional Beauty India's website and my vlog on it just in case if you guys would like to know what it is all about. And uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in knowing how I got this look, please keep on watching. So I'm starting off with a cleansed and moisturized face and then moving on to my serum I'm using my spa wake triple care serum and applying it all over my face and then to moisturize my lips I'm going to use my all-time favorite Carmex here I'm using a Smashbox primer water to prime my face before I start with my makeup and I let that dry and then moving on to eyes I'm going to prime my eyes uh, using my MAC studio sculpt and now I leave the details to all the products used in depth in my description box below and yeah, doing this would uh, cut all the pigmentation and uh, help our eyeshadows to last long and uh, blend smoothly. Then I'm going in with my MAC Studio Fix powder and setting all of that using a powder brush. And you guys know the drill, before I go on setting it, I would just use my fingers to smooth everything out. And then I'm using this shade from my icing palette and my Pro Arte brush and uh, using this as a transition shade and blending it out in my crease and a little bit about that. I'm using a circular and a wiper motion to blend that. So yes, I'm doing the same on the other eye. And then I am going in with uh, this shade here from my icing palette and using the same brush I'm going to just apply that shade in my crease now this is going to be only in my crease I wouldn't go beyond my crease you know this would just give some depth to our eyelids and then going in with my be a small fluffy brush I'm going to blend both the shades And then for the star of the look, uh, using my color bar palette, I'm going to take that gorgeous uh, purple shade from that palette and apply it uh, with my icing shader brush only on the outer one third of my eye and the inner one third of my eye. Now as you see, I am just creating a rounded dome sort of a look here. So I'm not elaborating the eyes on the outer corners. I'm sticking to the shape of my eye. So I'm just going to create a rounded dome shaped uh, looking eye so yes so I'm doing the same on the other eye and I'm slowly building up the color and uh, the intensity so I would just keep on adding the color till the time I'm happy with the intensity of the color And then going in with this gorgeous pinkish silverish tone, I'm taking the QO shader brush and uh, just spraying it a little bit with my makeup fixing spray and then applying that in the center of my eyelid. Now this is going to create a spotlight effect on our eye which is so trending these days so I decided you know this was the apt look to create for Diwali. And here I'm going in with the same purple tone using the same icing brush and creating the dome shape as I said. And then just to intensify that purple shade a little bit more, I'm going to go in with that darker shade from my icing palette and applying it over the previous uh, shade that we applied. And just deepening up the shade and creating more depth and just adding a little more of the same silverish tone in the center of my eyelid and then blending all of that with uh, my Arte brush and since I was not happy with the color payoff I'm going to go in with uh, the same darker shade another time and just intensify the inner and the outer corners and as you guys know I like applying my foil eyeshadows with the brush uh, sorry with the finger 
so I was not happy with the brush so I'm just going in with the same shade using my fingers I'm cleaning away all the fallouts using my icing powder brush and once I'm done with that I would just take my Maybelline Age Rewind Eye Erase uh, whatever concealer and uh, clean up under my brows now this you this trick you can totally use if you know your eyeshadow while blending is you know gone beyond the crease so you can clean that up so this trick works uh, wonders and here I'm just setting that with my studio fix and then I'm using the same uh, two shades which we used in uh, crease uh, as a transition shade with the same brush I'm going to very slightly blend all of that out so that there is no harsh line and then once I was done blending I just felt a little more need of that purple shade so I'm just intensifying the inner and the outer corners here once again and then moving on to face I'm using my Freedom Pro Longwear Matte Foundation and you've seen me using this foundation along with my makeup brush set uh, concealer brush and in my previous videos and I really like this foundation it's quite nice the finish is like uh, not completely matte but uh, not dewy at the same time uh, so I really like that and yes I'm blending all of that using my makeup brush set uh, concealer brush uh, here I'm using a little more of the same foundation on the areas where I feel I need more coverage basically under my eyes, a little bit on my forehead and around my mouth. So I would blend that out using the same brush. And once I'm done with that, I would go on with highlighting my face uh, which would be under my eyes, a uh, bridge of my nose, a little bit on my forehead, cupid's bow and around my mouth. I'm using a damp beauty blender to blend all of that out. So you want to use dabbing motion as you guys know if you've been watching my previous videos and uh, blend all of that out and do not move the products everywhere. We need to just concentrate on the areas where we apply the product. Just for a little bit of more coverage on my pigmentation, I'm going to use my MAC Studio Sculpt Concealer and uh, use my fingers to blend that out. And before I go on setting all of that, I would let it sit for a while. Meanwhile, I'm going to do my brows using my Primark PS Love, I think that is what it is called, uh, brow pencil and filling them up. Now to set my highlighted areas, basically under my eyes, I'm going to bake and around my mouth, I'm going to bake. Now this is one technique I am in total love with. I can totally vouch uh, this technique would not allow your concealer to crease or cake. And once that is sitting for a while on my face, so I would go ahead and just clean that up. I've used my Miss Claire Translucent Powder in shade I think 02 to uh, bake under my eyes and around my mouth. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to set my face using my uh, Studio Fix foundation and you can totally avoid this as you guys know I like setting my face so I'm doing it if you do not you can totally skip this step so once I'm done with that I'm going to go in with my uh, Smashbox uh, contour palette and using these two shades here from the palette I'm going to sculpt my face and I am totally obsessed with this uh, contour palette like the uh, combination of these two shades like it is so gorgeous on my uh, skin tone and it is sculpting my face so beautifully I'm in total love with it so yes I'm going to uh, contour like the usual areas the hollows of my cheek a little bit on my forehead and uh, my jawline and then here I'm just uh, baking under my contour to just make that contour stand out a little more and while that is baking I'm quickly going to contour my nose using the same uh, center shade from my uh, Smashbox contour palette and before I go in to highlight that I'm going to just quickly remove the bake because I didn't want it to bake for much longer 
and yeah then going with the same highlight shade from the palette uh, Smashbox contour palette I'm going to highlight on my nose moving on to blush I'm applying this gorgeous blush pink shade from benefit and applying it on the apples of my cheeks for that blushed pink look Okay, and then to finish off the eyes, I'm going to take that dark purple shade from the icing palette and pack it over the lower waterline like this. And then going in with my angled fluffy brush from icing, I'm taking that shade from my icing palette and uh, smoking out my lower waterline. Felt a little need of more uh, definition to my lower waterline, so I'm taking that black shade on my uh, eyeliner brush from icing and just applying it on the outer one third of my lower waterline and using a pencil uh, brush from uh, BS Mall I'm going to blend and smoke all of that and here again I felt a little need of adding that dark purple and intensifying the outer and the inner one third of my eye so I'm doing the same and then I would go in with the same pinkish silverish tone which we applied in the center of the eyes and apply it with my finger get that color payoff from both the colors and then moving on to my lashes I'm going to curl them using my QO lash curler and for liner I'm going to keep it very simple I'm using my makeup revolution eyeliner in black and applying it following the shape of my eyes here and I'm not going to create a cat eye or a winged liner as I said I want my eyes to be quite round and domed and uh, wide open so I'm just going to keep it simple and uh, the entire concentration has to be on the eyeshadow that we created the halo eye that we created so I'm keeping the liners quite simple And then unlike all my other videos, I'm going to just apply one single coat of uh, my mascara because I'm going in with lashes for this look. So yes, these lashes are so gorgeous. I would leave the details to it in my description box below and look at that. They completely changed the look. They completely glamorized the entire look. Yes, I'm loving them. So here I'm just uh, finishing up the lash band by applying the liner a little bit wherever it is visible and then I'm going in with my Plum uh, Nature Studio Cold Pencil to line my lower waterline and outer one third of my upper waterline. And uh, using the same uh, pinkish tone from the palette I'm going to highlight my inner corners and brighten them up for my brow highlight I'm going to use that matte shade white matte shade from my icing palette and uh, apply it all over my brow bone and then to highlighting my face so uh, I'm going to use a generous amount of this highlighter the baked highlighter from H&M and apply it on the usual areas where I normally do the highest points of my cheeks, a little bit on my forehead, on the bridge of my nose. And then for the lips, I'm going in with, yes, it's no surprise, it's my Miss Claire uh, shade number 08 and applying it all over my lips. These earrings I wore it on my wedding day I totally adore them and for hair you can totally leave them down but uh, I wanted the messy uh, pulled back hair so I'm going to just clip them up like that and this is the final look guys I hope you guys enjoyed I had so much fun creating this look the color inspiration for this look was my outfit which I would uh, just show a small clip at the end of the video happy Diwali all of y'all have fun be safe and and I will see you guys in my next video. Till then, stay happy and stay gorgeous.